I've just got to work. Another thing I've been challenging loads recently, and you'll have seen it all over my Instagram. Oops. It's picking up a morning coffee on my way into work. And I normally like sit and drink it at my desk, but it's Ramadan at the moment. So I go to a cafe and have it. And it's obviously not breakfast. It's not like a substitute for a snack or anything. Like I actually had crunchy nut this morning with a banana. But yeah, the point of the challenge is to show myself like coffee isn't a food, it isn't a number, it's not a meal substitute or a snack or anything. Like it's not something I need to work into my day. I can just pick up a coffee and have it. And then the other big part of the challenge is ordering it straight off the menu. Like at first, just ordering a coffee for me was really, really challenging. And I would always have like the milk as a separate thing. I think just to like keep a bit of control still really. So now I'm trying to just literally order like a cappuccino or a mocha or like a hazelnut latte or something straight from the menu so it's not like me deciding my own little meg versions of a it's not food damn it <laughs> yeah not ordering my own little meg adaptations but just ordering things straight as they come okay let's go and get a coffee <laughs> Finding this calories in fluid thing really hard. It's like, I know I want to be able to be that person that just grabs a coffee at work until I come to do it. And then it's literally the last thing in the world I want to do. I think that one was doubly hard because tonight Brendan and I are talking about going out for a couple of pints before dinner. I actually suggested it, like the weather's really nice at the moment. So I was like, Let's just go to a beer garden, have a couple of pints, and then we'll go home for a takeaway. Which sounds like the recovery dream to me, like that's exactly what I want to be able to do in life. Until the day when I come to do it, and then it's literally the last thing in the world I want to do. So this is literally when I say to myself, like, opposite actions. The reason I don't want to do it right now is because I've got eating disorder wiring in my brain. And the way to unwire <laughs> that eating disorder shit is to not do the eating disorder actions. If I skip my coffee this morning or if I miss calories out to make up for the drink later or if I just don't go for the drink later at all like that's strengthening my eating disorder beliefs and then I'll never be able to do that stuff so I try to remember like even though I don't want to do it now I do ultimately want to be able to do it which is really hard because the now is like so powerful ah. yeah I think I have to try and stay connected to like the bigger picture what's actually important in life not what feels better now like the quick fix eating disorder thing I'm not making any sense getting the lift so you know not compensating challenge repeat just got to work challenge repeat gonna go for my coffee I've also brought my breakfast into work today I've got overnight oats with honey peanut butter raisins chia seeds cinnamon I can't remember what else <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat that at my desk oh well actually in the pantry it's Ramadan at the moment and then I'll go down for my coffee challenge repeat I actually fucked up a bit yesterday and I've made it a lot harder for myself because I stupidly 
ordered yesterday's with skimmed milk which I'm sharing because like I'm not perfect okay my recovery is by no means perfect and I've fallen into this trap before where you like accidentally miss something out one day like I don't know you don't put mayonnaise in your sandwich or you don't put peanut butter on your porridge or something and then the next day when you come to add it back in it's so hard and then if you don't add it back in like before you know it you're back into your old eating disorder habit and back strengthening your eating disorder network in your brain the guy next to me is getting out of his car so yeah like not only are you not recovering then you're like actively practicing an old eating disorder habit and strengthening your old eating disorder network and it's so hard to break because your head is like screaming at you and it's never the right day like today i've actually got quite an important meeting with one of our business unit leaders just before lunch and like today doesn't feel like a good day for me to go and order a proper latte again because it's going to stress me out and make me feel like shit and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to concentrate properly for this meeting but i've fallen into this in the past like it's never a good day there's always shit going on in life and if i'm looking for that like short-term fix of like i just want to feel okay now then like, I'll do that today and then tomorrow I'll do it and then next year before I know it like I'm still trapped in my ink disorder and nothing's changed and I'm still living Groundhog Day <sighs> yeah I'm really thinking like break the cycle opposite actions I can't wait for it to feel easy it just won't like literally break the cycle that is it because if you don't break the cycle you stay in the cycle and then in a week, in a month, in a year, you're still trapped in that cycle. So like bigger picture, what do I actually want in life? What person do I want to be? What life do I want to live? I don't want to be restricting and counting and balancing out my food and compensating for food, eating less in one meal to make up for something I'm planning to have in another meal. Like that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> That's hell, that is a life of eating disorder and mental torture and I'm not present in the world with anybody because I'm so consumed by my own thoughts of food and obsessions with food and control over food. That guy I'm having the meeting with just walked past. <laughs> Awkward. So yeah, bigger picture, break the cycle, like just do it. It's never gonna feel easy. The longer it goes on, the harder I'm going to make it for myself. The more ingrained my ink disorder is going to come in, become in my brain. So break the cycle, opposite actions, block the thoughts, then feel shit, <laughs> which I know I'm going to. But that's okay. Right, I'm going to go and have my breakfast. <laughs> okay it wasn't as bad as I expected I think one of the reasons I've like got trapped in bad habits in the past is that I'm like really intolerant to feeling a bit shit <laughs> like, I really hate feeling like guilty feeling like I'm gaining weight is horrible or being like unproductive or grumpy or like frustrated or something like, I always just want to be like okay so I never want to break the cycle or break an old habit or like challenge my ink disorder because that makes me feel shit so then every day i'm like looking for that quick fix of like oh, i just want to feel okay i won't have regular milk today and then the next day like oh, i just want to feel okay i won't have regular milk today and then the next day like i don't know i've got an important meeting or it's someone's birthday or i'm going out to see friends or i'm challenging a food at lunch like there's always a reason but yeah that endless like looking for that quick fix day by day by day turns into year by year and then your life's like eating disorder groundhog day so I'm kind of proud of myself a bit for like breaking the cycle this morning and not falling it back into like an old eating disorder fear of real milk or like a rule that I have to order it a certain way whatever like the point of me challenging coffees is that I just order it straight off the menu and don't make little meg adaptations <sighs> I was trying to think to myself like 
it's okay to fall off the wagon like you will fuck up sometimes but it's not okay to stay off it and it's never easy to break the cycle and like go against the habit that's reforming but like what's the other option stay in that habit and then your life's fucked and then you've got an eating disorder so yeah it's helpful for me to think like break the habit it's not going to feel nice i might be frustrated i might cry i might feel fat whatever but like that's okay i can feel those things i don't need to be in a good mood every day i don't need to look for an eating disorder quick fix every day like there isn't a magic pill in recovery if i'm completely intolerant to feeling uncomfortable like i'll never recover sometimes i actually think like if you're feeling comfortable you're probably not doing anything so yeah break the cycle feel shit and do it anyway it won't last forever like you won't feel shit forever it's just short term like eyes on the bigger picture but if you're constantly avoiding like feeling shit then your eating disorder does last forever it's like endless honestly it's like one thing after another it's never just one challenge you do that and then your next meal and then your next snack Ugh. I know it won't last forever, but it's really horrible when it is lasting. <sighs> okay, I better get back to work.